Hey guys, welcome to Cook with Nancy. Today I'm going to show you guys how to make this easy and delicious eggless red velvet cake. This is great recipe for any great occasion like Valentine's, anniversary, name it. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and hit the subscribe button right now. That way you don't miss on upcoming videos. Let me show you how to make this delicious and moist red velvet cake. To start off here, I have one and a half cups of all-purpose flour. To this, I'm adding one teaspoon cocoa powder, one teaspoon baking powder, and just go ahead and swift it. And now go and set this aside while we prepare the wet ingredient. Here I have one and one third of a cup powder sugar. To this, I'm adding quarter cup of oil. Go ahead and combine them. It will be sandy in texture. That's fine. To this, I'm adding quarter cup of buttermilk. We are going to add a little bit in batches. One teaspoon vinegar or lemon juice. Go ahead and combine them until it's nice and smooth. Now the rest of the wet ingredients I'm going to add directly to the dry ingredients. So now once you combine this, add one eighth of a teaspoon salt or as needed. Red food color, five drops or as needed depending on gel or liquid you're using. You can add them. Go ahead and combine until you get the desired red color and also smooth consistency. Now go ahead and mix the dry ingredients and pour wet mixture into the dry ingredient and gently fold it. So as you fold the batter, you will find it to be little dry. This is when we are going to add the rest of the wet ingredients. Now here I have half a cup of buttermilk. First I'm going to add this and then gently fold it again. Just you don't want to overmix. The reason we are adding in batches all the liquids so that you don't have any big lumps in the cake. Now I'm adding half a cup of milk. I'm using full fat milk. You, you can definitely use low fat milk if you prefer. Fold it gently to make into a smooth batter. Don't overmix the batter. Here I have two pans, six inch pan, or you can even use four inch pan. That will give you a nice and tall cake. Now I'm going to bake this at 350 degree for 25 to 30 minutes or until the toothpick insert comes out clean. You want to tap this a couple times before you bake, start baking it. While this is baking, we are going to start preparing the cream cheese frosting. I'm going to start with eight ounces of soft cream cheese and 50 gram of soft butter into the stand mix or even hand mix. Both would do the great job. Now let it cream a little bit. It doesn't have to be super creamy at, at this point yet. Now I'm going to add one cup of powdered sugar right now and later I'll add a little more. Now to this I'm adding one teaspoon vanilla extract. Go ahead and cream it until it's nice and smooth. Scrape down the sides in between if you need to. And once it is nice and creamy, now I'm going to add half a cup of powdered sugar. Now it's up to you if you want to add more sugar or just keep it with one cup of sugar. That's totally fine. Now once it forms a soft peak, it's ready. You can transfer into a bowl and cover it and refrigerate until it's ready to be used. Now let's check on the cake. My cake is beautifully baked. And now I'm going to let it sit for 5 minutes in the pan before I transfer into a cooling rack. And let it cool down completely and slice the cake into half so you have 4 slices of cake. And keep some top part to make a crumbs. And here I'm going to apply sugar syrup to keep it super moist. Apply the cream cheese frosting generously. Repeat the whole process with until you reach top layer of the cake. The cake goes first, the sugar syrup, generous amount so that it keeps nice and moist. And then we add the cream cheese, generous amount, and then we repeat the whole process once again. So when you come to the top layer, you don't have to do the sugar syrup. Just go ahead and straight away start applying the cream cheese and cover the cream cheese all around the cake. Cover it, all the cream cheese that you have, and you will still have some leftover. Just put it in a pipe bag so that you can decorate on top. Now, when I sliced the cake, I took some layer from middle of the cake and I kept it aside. You can grate it and make a crumbs or you can put it in the food processor and make a crumb. Either way, it's fine. Once you coat the cake generously and place a paper towel around the cake as I showed you here so that when you apply the crumbs around the cake, the paper towel would help you to clean up easily. So now that's what I'm doing. I'm going to just apply gently the crumbs all around the cake on top on top of the cake and once you have the remaining once you've done that with the remaining cream cheese I'm gonna just use the piping bag and do any design that you prefer and it's super easy there you have this delicious cake I will see you soon in my next video till then take care guys bye